Super Mario Bros. movie. I would hope you've seen this trailer. Yeah, I saw the trailer. Fantastic. It was so it is releasing April 7th. And I'm sorry, you said it was what? Interesting. Dope. So it's releasing April 7th um, of 2023. I, I wrote 2022. That's very wrong. Uh, <laughs> um, so before we get to the, the elephant in the room, let's just talk about um, the good stuff. <laughs> so um, it looks good animation wise. It, it looks very beautiful. A lot of people were worried because of illumination. Um, I don't watch a lot of illumination movies. I saw Despicable Me once a very long time ago in like a classroom in school but like I, none of those movies really interest me like that's a ever shame. so you said what that's a shame this movie with me is great i mean i don't think it's a bad movie it's just i saw it once and i never had the interest in seeing it again um not because i thought it was you, gotta bad, be, you gotta watch minions now i'm not gonna watch actually i've seen minions surprisingly um great. Uh, i'm not saying they're bad again people don't like them People aren't a fan of Illumination and their style of filmmaking. Um, but when I heard that they were making a Mario movie, I was like, it'll probably be good because, like, that one, Nintendo's probably going to, it's Mario. It's their Mickey Mouse. They're not going to just let them, um, you know, do whatever. So they're going to definitely have a hand in it. They're going to have some people writing. They're going to have, they just have to deal with the animation. And they're good at animating. I can very much see that in their movies. They're they they're good at their job. So it looks good. Um, the comedy at the beginning was actually really funny with the penguins coming out and attacking um, Bowser, of which um, Kari Payton, who voices uh, Cyborg in Teen Titans, um, he was actually voicing the the um, the like King Penguin, and I did not notice until someone said it on Twitter. I was like, I can definitely hear his voice. That's definitely Kari Payton. But also, uh, Kevin Michael Richardson was Kamek. And I've heard him do voices completely different from the voices he usually does. He usually just does, like, deep voice characters. But that sounded like no voice I've ever heard Kevin Michael Richardson ever do. Um, you know Kevin Michael Richardson. And, of course, you probably you know him as the Joker in the animated The Batman. He's a really good Joker. Um, but, yeah, that, that completely surprised me. And uh, Jack Black as Bowser was amazing. It was really good. The first time he spoke, when he said, like, open the gates... I was like, that does not sound like Jack Black. He's putting in some work. Later on, when he's like, who's going to stop me? I was like, okay, now I hear the Jack Black. But it's still, you can tell he's trying something different. And that leads me to Chris Pratt as Mario. It's just Chris Pratt with a slight, very slight New York Italian accent. <sighs> when, when you're playing I mean, kid, we wanted Italian. That's fair, and I don't mind Mar. I don't care whether he has a Brooklyn or um, Italian accent. Which one doesn't matter to me. It's a matter of fact that it just sounds like Chris Pratt. When you're playing a character as iconic as Mario, no one wants to hear someone else's recognizable voice. They want to hear the character. And the thing about that is, Chris Pratt is is a person who is not such a good voice actor that that they hired him because he's a good voice actor. You, you know that's not the case. They hired him because he's famous and he's going to put butts in seats. The thing is, that is not something Mario needs. Mario's going to put butts in seats because he's Mario. He's Nintendo's Mickey Mouse. Everybody, even people who don't play video games, know who Super Mario is. They do not need a famous face to put next to Mario an already famous face. You just need Mario. That's it. You just need Mario and all his other very interesting and well-known characters from his franchise. You don't need famous voices to sell this movie. Chris Pratt was un an unnecessary hire. Whoever the casting director is, it might not have even been their fault. It might have been someone higher up going, we need someone famous to play Mario to bring attention. And whoever that person was, I don't want to curse, but forget you. Um, <laughs> like, that's unnecessary. It it's not needed, and... I hope he surprises me. I hope he 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 is much better than he seems like he's gonna be. I, I I want to hope that, but even in that um in the Nintendo Direct where they showed the trailer, he didn't even put a lot of effort into the video where he was like introducing himself as like I'm gonna be playing Mario and like he just didn't feel like enthused, like he he felt like he didn't care, and I feel like 
in the trailer, his performance felt like he didn't care or that he wasn't trying. And honestly, it's it's annoying. A lot of people out here saying are like, he sounds okay. And I'm like, yeah. But why do we have to always accept mediocrity? People always like to say it's 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 something's okay. It's okay. So why are you complaining? Because it's okay. Okay isn't good. Good and okay aren't the same. Something being fine isn't the same as it being good or great. I want greatness. I don't want okay. And he sounds okay, sure. But I want great. I want someone. It doesn't have to be Charles Martinet, who's a guy who's been voicing Mario for the past 30 years. It doesn't have to be him. He's going to be voicing Mario until he dies. Mario video games are going to be made, being made forever. So he's always going to have a job. It could have been someone new. It could have been someone doing a a Brooklyn accent. It could have been someone doing an Italian accent. It could have been an actual Italian person for all, I, for all I cared. As long as they were doing something that felt distinctly Mario and didn't and wasn't already an, another famous voice that would distract from the fact that this is supposed to be Mario, an already famous character with an already famous voice. That's how I feel about it, at least. How about you? I'm going to say something controversial. I kind of like Mario with a Brooklyn accent more than I like the uh, traditional Italian accent. I'm not going to lie. That's not that controversial. I feel like nobody in the world would agree with me. Personally. No, there's a lot of people who would agree with me until I heard Chris Pratt's Mario voice. But Chris Pratt with a Brooklyn accent. Or not Chris Pratt. Mario with a Brooklyn accent is kind of funny. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of people who agree with you. A lot of people are, are like the problem isn't his that he has a Brooklyn accent for most people. It's just Chris Pratt. Like, a lot of people actually do think that he should have a Brooklyn accent. Funny enough, actually, in the, like... So, something else I'm going to mention about this is that he teleports in through a pipe seemingly from a different world, and this is his first time in a Mushroom Kingdom. Apparently, um, I didn't know this until a lot of people kept mentioning it when they were talking about this um, trailer, was that in the original, like, um, guidebooks for the Mario games, he was always a person from a different world specifically a Brooklyn, Italian Brooklyn guy from a different world coming into to the Mushroom Kingdom. So he's always been a Brooklyn person until they changed his voice to the like Italian accent. So like him being a Brooklyn person, he's also had a Brooklyn accent in um, the cartoon from the 90s. And he also had a Brooklyn accent in the movie, the live action movie. So that's something that people are already used to. And a lot of people actually already like. So that's not really the live action movie is not a... It's not a good movie, but it's funny. <laughs> so it's not that that's not that controversial controversial opinion. That's all pretty controversial. I don't think I would have agreed with me until I heard that, but I don't know. Yeah. A lot of people on Twitter have no problem with it. So I I don't feel like it's that controversial. I feel like a lot of people are fine with him having a Brooklyn accent. I don't really go on Twitter, so I don't really know. But yeah, um, I think it's going to be good, and I hope it's great. Um, I'm just not a fan of Chris doing this voice. Not him as a person. I don't know nothing about him as a person, but um, doing this voice, he just doesn't seem like he's trying. But I would love to be proven wrong. In situations like this, I always want to be proven wrong and instead be surprised. Because if I'm expecting a subpar performance but an overall good movie, and I get a good movie or even even better than good movie and also a good performance from him, I'll be happy. 